How's it going guys? Bring your platoon here and welcome back to another great game in World of Tanks Xbox One Edition. Today I'll be playing in the M26 Pershing of the Tier 8 American Medium Tank. And this thing is, in all its entirety, a pretty good tank overall. The, the only bad part about this thing is, it gets no armor. Besides in the turret. And even then, it's really only in the mantlet because the turret itself... Flat on, no angle. You need about mm, 150 millimeters to go through it effectively. Except for like some very oddly angled parts. But yeah, if they're not aiming for your mantlet, which only has 215 in its um, most less armor... In, Jesus Christ. In its, le yeah, in its weakest part of the mantlet, it's only about, around 215 to 210 millimeters thick. Um, and that is right in the middle of the mantlet, vertically speaking, or I guess horizontally speaking, whatever. Um, but the rest of it is pretty good. The the outer mantlet is pretty much... Mm, is it an auto bounce? It's... 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 It, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. If people aim at your turret, though, they're gonna pen every time. If people aim at your upper plate, regardless of how angled you put your tank even with 10 degrees it's only a hundred and sixty millimeters thick oh it's just not great and that little weird plate in the front of your tank like if you're looking at the upper plate and you see that weird like rhombus shape it looks flat it's actually not part of the armor angle or the the 3d model ex unless you put it like on the side and then it's a weird value but yeah just pretend it's not there because it doesn't matter where they shoot oh I guess it's actually n never mind I take back that previous statement it's actually stronger than the rest of your upper plate but only by like 10 millimeters it, it doesn't give it any spaced armor it just makes that little rhombus shape 139.7 millimeters of impacted armor instead of 101.6 but, uh, yeah, it also gives it a flatter angle, but that's still more armored, so that's weird. But, this gun is okay. It's a 90mm, you get 221 standard pen on the AP rounds, I believe, on console version, and 268mm of pen with the EPCR premium ammunition, and I don't really care about the high explosive rounds, but you get 45mm of effective penetration with that, dealing... 320 average damage upon penetration instead of your standard 240 for the 90 miller miller the 90 millimeter armament so that's cool but like i said this tank it doesn't have armor it doesn't have armor it's a medium tank it is it's fast enough i wish it was a little bit faster but it's fine it doesn't need to be faster um accuracy is really good though uh once again the server lag is just very, very obvious in this fucking game for me. I don't know how to make it go away, but a lot of people, I'm sure, are having similar issues, so that's unfortunate for that. But the gun is accurate enough. Its DPM is, mm, I'm going to say, decent, because you fire just over six seconds. Or just over every six seconds. And that's without food. I'm sure if you put food on, it'll be a little bit less than six seconds, but... You've got 400 meters base view range, and that is phenomenal for a tier 8 medium tank. That is ba 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 bonkers, actually. That's something that they would give a tier 10 uh, heavy or medium tank. So, that's awesome. Unfortunately, your camo value will not keep you hidden very well, so be sure to uh, definitely invest in the camouflage skills, and you'll be able to outspot your opponents with no trouble at all but I think the base camo rating for this tank is 30 40 no 30 something I don't know I have no idea disregard that statement but I get a free engine fire on the IS-3 because RNG favors me I could have tracked him there but much like most of the teammates that I'm stuck with it, that one was too afraid to take a shot into the IS-3 so that was pretty cool and who was afraid to take a shot at the IS-3? I wonder. Let's see who bumps into me here. Oh, that's right. Well, technically I drove in front of him, 
but he's being an asshole, so fuck that guy. A defender. Yes. Good on him. 252U, defender. Go fuck yourself, kid. Because even in an overpowered tank like that, you couldn't do better damage than me because BPM is king, and so is mobility. Doesn't matter if you got all the armor in the world, if you suck in a tank, you're not going to do any better in a different one. Like, I hate him. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being petty, but whatever. So I load the high explosive, and why is that? Because all they have left is the ISU-130PM. Yes. Yes, I do believe that is accurate. And I try to get a free pen into here. Do I succeed? I think I do, but just barely. It's like, eh, I have the slightest fucking shot on the guy because this asshole's blocking his body. Thanks! And then I get 300 damage there with the high explosive penetrating, of course. So, that was nice. Thank you, RNG. But seriously, fuck teammates for making everything more difficult than it needs to be. I get that they want damage as much as I do, but... You know what? I take that back, too. I'd probably do the exact same thing. Because <laughs> I'm also an asshole. Ace Tanker Medal for the game. 4,300, almost 4,400 damage base. And I am very happy about that. Um, and the defender barely got his own HP and damage. If that's even his HP. I, I don't know what the defender's HP is. But... <sighs> It's hard to play this game. It really is. Just kidding. It's not. Even with server lag, I'm still able to play it competently. I don't know what the big, big fucking deal is. Oh, that's right. It's player incompetence. Mmm. Genius. Hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.